Well, now that my workbench is not a complete disaster, I want to show you some cool effects that you can make the lights do on this Conrail Athern SD60i. Okay, so first thing we need to boot up the um, DCC just so you can see what the throttle looks like for those of you that are not familiar with NCE. Okay, so let's plug it in and watch it boot up. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we go select loco and that's 5626. Okay, and then we want to turn the headlights on. So headlight or zero. And notice this has ditch lights on it. Try to get the camera right down track side here. There we go. Now check this out. If I press shoot, I can't remember how I programmed that. Uh horn or two. Pretty cool. And you can also dim these with the four, but it only dims the... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Whoops. I hit the wrong button here. Cancel. Four. But it only dims the top light, and unfortunately, the way NCE did these decoders, you cannot shut um, the ditch lights off without the headlight, which is unfortunate. However, I did discover a little flaw. If you do want the ditch lights to be off and the headlight to be on temporarily, make the locomotive lose power. So, aka, flip it up on its side and put it back. And that's how you can do it. So, if you want to dim your lights for an oncoming train or whatever, the problem is if you press the F4 key to dim then the ditch lights come back on. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot again. How come I keep doing that? Four. See? But, and even if it's dimmed and you go like that, it comes back on bright. But anyway, it's pretty cool how it works. It's kind of too bad, though, that they didn't spend a little more time talking to somebody that knew more about railroad operations, but it's still cool. So, I'll just work around it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. And it does run. Oh, we got dirty wheels. Oh my, do we ever. Can't keep them clean down here. Pretty neat. And we're at the end of the test track here. I gotta make a longer one. Anyway, I just wanted you to see something cool. Thanks for looking.